Hello, and welcome to Firefighting in Canada This Week. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Justin Belmore, and this week we start with Edmonton Fire Chief Ken Block, who is warning that the city needs to better equip itself for big emergencies in 2018. In an interview with Global's Kim Smith, Block says that Canada is five years behind the U.S. standard when it comes to being ready for disaster, and that we've been playing catch-up. Block says these disasters range from floods, fires, storms, and more increasingly, domestic terrorism. The province's website says a new operations centre is being built in hopes of streamlining efficiency in emergency response. It's due to be completed by 2020. The price tag on this project sits at $18.2 million. It's meant to replace the existing centre, a facility the mayor says is becoming obsolete and approaching the end of its life. The effort to build a better emergency response operation will include partners within the city and external stakeholders like the RCMP and Alberta Health Services. It will mean awareness training, looking at best practices, and better communication with law enforcement agencies on the scene of an event. In other news, a New Year's Day fire at a bridal shop in Brookfield, Nova Scotia, has gutted the building that was once the community's fire hall. Brookfield Fire Chief Rod Nielsen told CBC News that the owner of Skylin Bridal lived above the shop, but wasn't home when the fire broke out around 5 p.m. He says fire crews had to bring in their own water supply because there are no hydrants in Brookfield. When Brookfield Fire and Emergency Services arrived, it was too hot and unsafe to get inside the large building on Highway 2. Firefighters had to cut the power lines to the area because the flames were getting too close. Brookfield Fire and Emergency Services previously used the large building as its fire hall up until 2006 when it was sold to the current owner who recently was trying to sell the building. The cause of the fire isn't yet known and investigators are on the scene trying to find out more. Firefighting in Canada columnist Mark Vanderfeist says there's room for improvement in the way firefighters are completing tasks. And one of the areas in which he's noticed the most error is ground ladder use. In his latest article, Mark offers six important tips for proper ground ladder use. Every chance given to you to pull a ladder off a truck, do it because you get used to that ladder and the weight of it, how it uh, feels, how it bounces on your shoulder or in your hands when you're doing a single person carry or a single person raise, that's the biggest tip. So besides everything else that's mentioned uh, in, the six, in the six tips, the biggest one is don't be afraid of it, pull it off and use it. Tip number one is on tying the halyard. He says it should be tied around the bottom rung of the bed section using a clove hitch. When it comes time to extend the fly section of the ladder, all you need to do is pull on the halyard. The ladder should extend easily when the halyard is tied this way. The second tip, identify the middle of the ladder with a marker. It tells the firefighter where to grab the ladder when picking it up from the ground or where to shoulder the ladder when sliding it off the truck. Tip number three, position ground ladders to be ready for deployment right from the truck. Firefighters should be able to open the compartment door, grab the ladder, pull it off onto their shoulder, and continue moving in the same direction. The fourth tip is to paint the tips of the ladder to identify where the ladder will sit at the roof line. When a firefighter needs to locate the ground ladder while on the roof, they simply need to look for the orange painted tips. The fifth tip is to always go more than three rungs above the roof line. This makes the ladder much more visible, easier for the firefighter to get on and off of the ladder, and allows for more control for the firefighter. The final tip is to always place the tip of the ladder at the window ledge or windowsill. The ladder will be in the right position should a firefighter need to bail out of a building using a ladder dive. For any questions, email mark at mark at firestarttraining.com. That's all for now from the Niche TV Newsroom. And thanks again to our sponsor, VFIS, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Be sure to tune in to our next episode of Firefighting in Canada this week on Friday, January 12th. Happy New Year, folks. We'll see you next time.